If you watch this channel for any length of time, you know that we tend to make videos on cleaner, greener, safer and smarter transportation. It's in our tagline. And we try and make as many videos on clean cars and clean energy technology as we possibly can. But in order to make all of those videos, we need computer technology behind the scenes. When we first started making Transport Evolved videos, I was literally just using a laptop and a couple of hard drives that I happen to have lying around. But with every video you make, you need somewhere to store it. And unlike a lot of YouTubers out there who make a video and then once the video is uploaded to YouTube, they can delete the source files and never worry about it again. We have to keep all of our source video files. And that means we need a large amount of storage space to keep those files. Why do we need a storage server? Well, we need a storage server because car companies like to put up B-roll. That's the pretty video of the car driving down the road or the interior shots, the beauty shots. They like to put those up on their website when a car is launched. And they'll keep that footage up on the website until such a point as the car is no longer produced or there's a newer, sexier model that comes along. And because we focus on used cars as well as new vehicles, we have to have all of that stock footage to hand. To get around this major storage problem back in 2012, with help of some of Transport Evolved's viewers, I purchased some PC hardware and turned it into a Hackintosh. That is a PC running Mac OS. And the reason I did that is because even by that point, I'd got a lot of software from Macs that I was using to produce the videos. And to switch to a PC at that point was just going to be really cost prohibitive. So I had a Hackintosh and in that Hackintosh tower, I put as many hard drives as I possibly could. I think at one point we had 25 terabytes worth of hard drives all shoved into the case. Then when we moved into this studio in late 2017, we purchased this. It is a rack mount unit. It has plenty of slots for hard drives. You just slide them in and inside is the old Hackintosh computer. It's no longer running Mac OS. It's running a, a software called Unraid, which is based on Slackware. And inside this computer is the old 2012 hardware from my old edit machine. It was no longer able to edit video for use for the show because our shows became more complicated and we needed to edit videos more quickly than we used to because we were putting more out per week. And so this unit became a server. It was retired effectively from editing and moved into a position as a server. But the problem is that Unraid isn't designed to be used as a video editing server setup. It's designed for long-term storage. You know, if you want to back up your family photos or your movies from your home media server, and you're only going to be watching one movie at a time or maybe two, then Unraid can handle it. But if you're trying to edit 4K video simultaneously with one or two or three other people in the office, well, things go downhill really, really quickly. We got to a point where we were just literally saturating all of the bandwidth capability that our computer had, not necessarily through the network connection, but through its processor, through its motherboard and through the connected drives. None of these drives were operating in a RAID setup. They were just a bunch of disks shoved together and Unraid was managing it all. And it was fine for one person editing 1080p or 720p, but for anything bigger, it was just struggling. And then we started to notice problems with the server. It kept rebooting. It would suddenly disconnect. You'd be there editing video and then poof, it would no longer be on the network. And I spent hours after work trying to figure out what on earth was wrong with this unit. And frankly, it just got really depressing. But we have some saviors in the form of 45 drives. They heard about some of the problems you were having and they were like, ha, we can help you with that. Behold, the new Transport Evolved video server. On this, we're going to be putting all of our video projects from now on. As you can see, it's quite the upgrade from our old consumer grade server. But let's see what's under the hood, because it's pretty special. 
at the back, instead of the consumer grade PC hardware that we had in our old server, this is a proper server grade motherboard and CPU. It's a Xeon processor. It has got a capability to support up to one terabyte of RAM. This is really important because when you're working with large video files, the RAM can actually act as a cache, which means that it can read and write data far more quickly than it can to spinning drives. Inside here, you've got three host bus adapters. They're like a special card that allows each hard drive to have a direct connection to the computer's CPU, which actually makes reading and writing to disk a lot faster and a lot more reliable. At the back, you've got a twin SSD boot drive. So that means if one of the drives fails, we've got a second drive that is identical to the first. They can just step in and take over. It's for full redundancy and it means that our server shouldn't break like the old one. I think the old one for a while was spending more time being fixed than it was being used. We've got plenty of space for 45 drives and we've already put 10 12 terabyte drives in this unit. We've got them arranged in bricks of five. So that's four data drives plus one parity drive using the ZFS file system. And combined, we are getting read write speeds, wait for it, in excess of 700 megabytes per second over a network. This is not a local drive, this is over the network. And if there's a problem with the drives, literally, it's toolless. So you just pull out a drive replace it, put a new drive in, and then the software on board from CentOS just fixes the problem and you carry on. You don't have to run CentOS on this. You can run plenty of other operating systems on it. I know people who run Unraid on these. I know people who use Microsoft server setups on here or other free open source software solutions. We're using CentOS. Eventually, we'll probably use GlusterFS and add extra storinators as we get bigger. And it's going to mean that both Aaron and myself and anyone else who happens to come work for Transport Evolved will be able to edit video directly off this server without bringing the entire network to a screaming halt. And the more videos we can edit and the more quickly and efficiently we can edit videos, the more videos we can make and the more of the featured videos like the car reviews and the trips outside we can make because they tend to have a lot more footage, they tend to have a lot more b-roll and they take a lot more time to make pretty. So that's it. Check out 45 Drives and thanks to them for sponsoring this video. They offer a whole range of different products ranging from a 15 bay unit, as I've already said, all the way up to 16 bay unit. They have hybrid units, they have units that just have SSDs in. They have units that are designed for video editing and storage. So if you're a Windows user, you can actually have an edit machine and a storinator all rolled into one. They're fantastic. Check them out at the link below. Thanks to them for supporting the video. We'll be back soon with more content. Give us a thumbs up if you liked. Give us a thumbs down if you didn't tell us why. Don't forget you can support us through Patreon, Ko-fi or by buying some swag from our swag shop. And we'll be back really soon with more great content. Oh, keep evolving.